and welcome back to Motography World Channel. I'm BK and today, finally, eventually, Hyundai launched this new Elantra N on this racetrack. So the car on your right at the end, that exterior paint is electric gray. And then Phantom Black Claw and famous N color performance blue. And then this one is fluid gray metallic. And then this is fiery red pole, which has a different color of the stripe on the front bumper. So every other painting has the red stripe going on, but this red exterior paint does not have the red stripe. Instead, it has the silver metallic stripe going front bumper to the side skirt. Another dark blue one over there is intense blue. And another uh, phantom black. And then, that's Amazon gray metallic color and the resting is all the same color. It has nine different exterior color. There is no polar white exterior painting for the moment. Rest of other uh, colors are all here. So you can have a good comparison among all these exterior paintings. M Symphony now. very first impression on this car the steering is heavier than other N lineups and this new uh, N light bucket seat it sits low it's lighter it looks more gorgeous for the thin guy like me still this side bolster is is not that tight enough to hold my body firmness yeah there's no compromise for the muffler noise it's I recently had a test drive on AMG A35 and CLA45S. Both models are the best inline four cylinder turbocharged engine, which has more horsepower than this Elantra N, but their sound was a little bit weak and uh, it was not that powerful. It was not that joyful enough when you compare it against this Elantra N muffler. It's so N sound. Hear this. <laughs> Again. In fact, you really don't need to use your horn, but <laughs> you can use your muffler. Sorry, I'm coming through. <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, right comfort. There is a slight difference on every single Hyundai N family regarding this ride comfort because i30N, it has the most stiff ride comfort. And then i30N Fastback, it had a slightly softer setting when compared to the i30N Hatchback. And then the Veloster N, the Veloster N has the best ride comfort on the normal road condition but this new elantra n the ride comfort is superior i feel it's uh, even better than the normal elantra the base elantra 1.6 model the wider tire yes 245 now it's 10 millimeters wider than Veloso n or i30 n the tire model has been changed too previous Veloso n or i30 n they came up with OE purely pure zero but now it's Michelin Pilot Spot 4S. Yeah it's not Pilot Spot 4 it's Pilot Spot 4S. So I think the Michelin tire is another hidden key for this better ride comfort and you can definitely feel that this one has the larger front tire through the steering effort and you have more information because you have larger contact patch in the front so that means you got more detailed information from the front axle. Elantra N comes with larger front brake disc system. And the initial bite feeling is it's not that sharp. As you add more power to the brake pedal, then you immediately you can feel that this car has better braking force than other in the N family. So this kind of a setting for the brake is it's quite easy to control, not picky, 
and it's suitable for everyday daily use. The shifting speed is C, up, 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 down. Yes. So now Elantra and on the racetrack in this stadium, almost every corners are located on the uphills or downhills because this track is built in the middle of the mountain. So it's kind of a mini green hell version in Korea. The front tires grip, it feels really sticky even under a quite amount of the rolling on the front axle. But still what I can feel is that it's a newly developed integrated front axle and the hub, it can stand up to quite solid on under high pressure G's. This one increased the chassis rigidity, let the suspension spring rate very soft. And even for this adaptive electronic controlled damping system, they also made it quite soft. But this is not bad at all because the driver can feel more directly the movement the uh, very detailed movement of the car so let's go up to the end mode which has the stiffest setting for the damper and the most dynamic setting for the, all the powertrain full throttle no understeer at all did you see here is the difference under the normal mode i tried the same full acceleration coming out of that hairpin and the TCS was engaging but in this end mode even with higher speed the TCS did not engage at all and still it did not show any any sign of understeer you can see almost everything that I do in this car through this end performance display this is the throttle this is the brake force this is the oil temperature coolant temperature the left time RPM, speed, the gear position, everything, everything is here. Yeah, so it's minimalist to use beyond the 6,000 RPM. So there is a, a significant torque drop after that. So I think it's better to shift up a little bit earlier. In this corner, if there was a no car in front of me, I could keep the full throttle onto this turn seven high speed off your right hander. Now on in there. One more. Yeah, very straightforward. I can feel when the rear wheel goes into the air because every sense that coming from this car's tired contact patch is it's so vivid. So with this NGS an additional 10 horsepower, so it's a uh, final horsepower is 290. You don't feel any disturbance from that massive torque and horsepower from the FF layout. So in the past, this uh, 300 horsepower was a technical barrier for the front wheel driving cars because uh, you will eventually have massive power on the steer once you get on the gas pedal. But now, this near 300 horsepower Hyundai Elantra N has no sign of that grip loss it's a chassis and the massive grip from the front axle i really wish that they can tune up a little bit more because this car can handle 300 plus horsepower i think the optimal point would be around 310 or 320 horsepower without all-wheel drive system the full throttle ngs yes 290 horsepower 160, 170, 180, 190. It's really similar to drive the Hyundai TCL car, the touring race car. This is the just standard model that you can buy in a Hyundai Dome or showroom, but it's <laughs> it moves like a TCR. What a great track day with this new Elantra N. I really enjoy it driving this car all day on the road and on the track. This new Elantra N is the true family oriented new N family. What I mean is that this car you can live with every single day without any problem at all. 
we will come back with this new Elantra super lap time attack for the next time. And until then, bye bye.